Understanding, taking a pot shot, a guide to English idioms. Hello, and welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're going to decode the phrase, taking a pot shot. This is a common idiom that you might encounter in everyday conversations, movies, books, or even in the news. Let's dive in and find out what it means to take a pot shot and how you can use this phrase in your own conversations. The phrase, taking a pot shot, originally comes from hunting and shooting terminology. It referred to a shot aimed at game simply for the pot, or for food, rather than as part of sports shooting where skill is tested. This shot was often hastily done, without careful aim, and more out of opportunity than skill. In modern language, the term has evolved to mean a criticism or attack on someone that is made without careful consideration, often done opportunistically or without regard to the consequences. It's not necessarily about accuracy or fairness, but more about seizing the chance to criticize. Let's see how this phrase is used in sentences. The politician took a pot shot at his opponent during the debate, which seemed a bit unfair. In the meeting, he couldn't resist taking a pot shot at the proposal, calling it ill-conceived. The critics took pot shots at the new movie, although it seemed they hadn't even taken the time to understand its theme. These examples show that taking a pot shot can be used in various contexts where someone is being critical or attacking something or someone in a hasty or careless manner. Understanding when to use this phrase is crucial. It's important to note that taking a pot shot often has a negative connotation and suggests a lack of thought or fairness in the criticism. Use this phrase when you want to express that someone's criticism is done without much thought or just for the sake of criticism itself. I hope this explanation helps you understand what it means to take a pot shot and how to recognize when someone is doing it. Remember, language is not just about words but also about the context and the connotations they carry. Happy learning! and see you in our next video where we'll explore another interesting English idiom.